Welcome back to KTV2 with Dr. Tarek Sinan, interventional radiologist. I would like to speak to you about uh, something new as a treatment used uh, by interventional radiologists, especially for women disease. You know, there is three areas I can think of in the women disease that interventional radiology can help, you know, uh, quite usefully and help women avoid surgery. One of them first is what's called benign tumors in the thyroid. The thyroid, as you know, is the gland in the front in the neck, and that gland is responsible for excreting a lot of hormonal materials. And because it excretes a lot of hormonal materials, it's uh, a lot of the times it develops small cysts or small benign tumors, you know, and these benign tumors can enlarge and cause uh, cosmetic abnormality, like they look like a bulge uh, in the neck. And for, uh, fortunately, most of these uh, tumors are benign. And the way to find out that they're benign is just under ultrasound, taking a small uh, biopsy with a small needle, and then when you send it to the lab, it can confirm it is benign. The new development recently of the biopsy that is proven that uh, small biopsy is enough to prove that it is benign, which means there is no need for surgery. In the past, there was doubt about the results of the biopsy, and a lot of patients had a lot of surgery unnecessary. Now, the problem with the surgery is that it's so well established. A lot of surgeries in Kuwait are very good at removing the thyroid, but it leads to unnecessary removal of a, a lot of good thyroid tissue and might be associated with complications like bleeding or injury to the laryngeal nerve, which is the nerve uh, responsible for the voice and might affect patient's uh, voice. Now, uh, so why do we treat uh, benign tumors, in, especially in women? It can happen in men and women, but it's more in women because in women it will lead to cosmetic problem. And a lot of women don't would wouldn't like to have a lump jumping up out of their uh, neck. But at the same time, they don't want to have a surgery because they don't want to have a big scar from a surgery in the neck. So interventional radiology about you know six, seven years ago has developed a new technique which is ultrasound guided radiofrequency ablation, which is just putting the ultrasound probe on the thyroid because it's a superficial structure, you can see it very clearly. And then you can put a needle, that needle is cold needle, it's not a hot uh, needle. And then it's connected to a special machine that breaks down the benign tumor within the thyroid and uh, along the course of three months, it leads to the destruction of that tumor, and that tumor will be then absorbed by uh, the body. The fact that it's benign anyway, there is no risk of it developing into a malignant, and uh, the, the, we do this basically because it's a base, as well and for cosmetic re reason, not because of the fear. Some of the patients might have symptoms due to the tumor if it is uh, like uh, moderate size, you know, we don't do large size, we don't do malignancies, we do small or moderate size. The moderate size might cause problems like problem in breathing or swallowing. Still, radiofrequency can help these patients to get rid of their symptoms. So this is number one. Now, the second very important part of women disease that affects about 35% of normal women, you know, but not most of them are symptomatic. It's what's called uterine artery fibrosis or uterine uh, artery fibroids. These are benign tumors that uh, found uh, in the fibroids, um, mostly in the you know between the age of 30s and 40s, mid 40s. And the problem with this, they are although they are benign, they, uh, if they get uh, enough in number or uh, bigger in size, they may lead to a problem with uh, menstruation, increase uh, blood loss in, in the woman, increase the length of the period, period becomes extremely severe, uh, painful, might cause low back pain, it might compress on the bladder and which leads to uh, frequency and difficulty in going to the toilet during the period of time. If 
the woman has the symptoms and have a fibroid or another similar disease which is called the migrating adenomyosis, both of them, you know, are uh, for now are difficult to treat without surgical intervention, whether laparoscopic surgical intervention or sometimes even after laparoscopic may lead to complete removal of, of the womb, of the, uh, the uterus of the woman. And a lot of women would not like to have surgery or have their womb removed, especially if they are in the productive age and they might think of still having uh, children at the age uh, of uh, 30s. Now, interventional radiology uh, can treat, you know, the uterine fibroids without surgery. Again, it's a simple procedure without general anesthesia. It's done in the x-ray department. Uh, under x-ray, we do insert a small catheter into the groin and then uh, and, uh, by injecting contrast under the x-ray we can see the uterine artery we go to the uterine artery we inject contrast to identify the vessel that's abnormal that's supplying the fibroid or the adenomyosis once we identify that blood vessel we do chase it with a smaller catheter and go deep into that blood vessel and we inject particles these particles uh, go inside the uh, benign tumor and block the benign tumor and block the blood supply. We repeat the same thing if we go from one side, we repeat it into the other side because a lot of these tumors take blood supply from both sides and we block the blood supply to these tumors from both sides. The whole procedure takes between half an hour to 45 minutes. After that, we do remove the catheter and it's just a compression of uh, five to 10 minutes on the artery in the groin that stops the bleeding and basically you know we also have established the technique of uh, injecting the um, uh, nerves of the pelvis beforehand so the uh, lady would not have pain afterwards but we do keep them for 24 hours for observation because sometimes when you cut the blood supply for a big ut uh, uterine tumor that might lead to nausea or pain, so we can handle all that while the patient is in the hospital, but they leave the next day and there is no need for rest. It's not like surgery. There is no need for them to stop activity or going to work. And the success rate is, you know, quite similar to surgery. Um, uh, failure rate is, is very, very low. The complication rate, extremely uh, low. There is only, I must emphasize, one risk is if the patients are over the age of 45, there is one to four percent chance of the uh, period stopping, which means they cannot conceive. So we always warn the patient that this procedure is better for women who already have children and uh, would not like thinking of conceiving uh, again. Um, having said that, again, I don't want to say that surgery doesn't have a role or laparoscopic procedure because some uh, lesions are better dealt with uh, laparoscopy. Again, interventional radiology is another simple method of treating uh, the disease for women who don't want to have surgery or don't want to have their womb removed. The third problem uh, of a woman disease that we can treat with interventional radiology is infertility. Sometimes infertility in women is due to the fallopian tubes, which are the tubes that deliver the eggs from uh, the woman uh, egg, develop uh, the eggs into the womb. Sometimes these are blocked. We can go in with a small catheter and a wire and clean that fallopian tube and dilate it and expand it with a small balloon so it goes back to normal and a lot of times that leads to conception and uh, a happy uh, lady. Thank you very much for listening to me.